Hello everyone, name's McQueeb, here with a quick video on how to unlock a couple of hidden characters in Vampire Survivors, the latest video game to take the internet by storm. The first hidden character is called X Dash. You need to be at the main menu, so that's the menu with all of the little buttons, options, start game, etc. Type the following very, very quickly. X Dash X 1 V I I Q. That's X Dash X 1 V. IIQ. Type that really, really fast. You'll hear a little chime letting you know that you've unlocked the character. This little blue ghost will run around, has plus 100 luck, making it great for picking up chests and breaking candelabras, that sort of thing. Starts with uh, lower stats in other areas, so it's a little bit more difficult to get started, but once you get him rolling, uh, it's really good for farming meta currency. The next character we want to unlock is Missing No. This is a reference to a busted character in Pokemon. I think it was a glitch at the time. This is very much, however, an intended character. This character starts with randomized stats in almost every area and can range from broken, not working, to middle of the road, to broken, extremely overpowered, and I do mean invincible. What you want to do, you want to go to your Steam folder, your Steam application, Right click on Vampire Survivors, hover over Manage, Browse Local Files. Now the folder specifically in here you're looking for, once you're in the Vampire Survivors folder, open up Resources, open up App, open up .webpack and open up Renderer. The file you're looking for is main.bundle.js. Now this is actual game code in here, it's not obfuscated, you can edit it to your heart's content, it is literally just a text file. What we're looking for is the ability to kill the Reaper at the end of the run, at the 30 minute mark. The easiest way to do this is to find a weapon that you want to use that can instantly take them out. So look for garlic. So you're going to search for the word garlic. And you're going to want to search for maybe the fifth or sixth instance in this file. You're looking specifically for the power variable after the word garlic. So there's a string of text that gives sort of information and statistics about garlic, which again, you can play with. You can change them as much as you want. But you want to change the power level. At the moment, it starts at 0 0.5. Change it to something stupid like a hundred million and no, I'm not being silly. Modify that file, make it a hundred million and you will be virtually invincible. The reason we selected garlic is because we're going to start the run as Poe. Poe starts with garlic already and it just makes the run a little bit easier. Garlic at this power will be just fine. You don't need a lot else. However, go ahead and grab a few extra things just to be on the safe side. I would recommend not evolving garlic because if you do, it changes the item from garlic into evolve garlic. It's essentially a different item and that power level will get reset back to whatever evolves garlic power level is. But with a power of 100 million, you will instantly take out the Reaper and once you've killed him, go ahead and exit the game, quit the game completely, edit that file again. Put it back the way it was beforehand. You don't want to keep garlic at that power. Well, hell, maybe you do. I don't know. But it's probably best you put it back to normal and uh, save the file, reopen the game, and you will see that now Missing No is unlocked. Have fun. Like I said, it's a meme-tastic character, but uh, I think you'll have a good time regardless. All the instructions, by the way, are in the description below. Feel free to catch me live every night 6 p.m pacific uh we do play vampire survivors a hell of a lot folks have fun be safe i will see you in the next video later